The North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services held a press conference today to discuss the recent reports of rare blood clots related to the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. In response, North Carolina decided to pause the use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. According to Dr. Mandy Cohen, more than 242,000 doses of the vaccine have been distributed to NC residents with no reports of blood clots occurring. Cohen says those who have already received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine should monitor their health but shouldn't be alarmed. The vast, vast majority of people who received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine will only experience the expected temporary reactions like soreness of an arm or feeling achy or tired for a day or two. All six cases of blood clots have happened in women between the ages of 18 and 48, anywhere from 6 to 13 days after vaccination.